and hit subscribe if this is your first time. Thanks for hanging with us. We really appreciate it. We want to start out by thanking our partners, Something Unique Magazine, Books, Chocolate, and Wine, the Florida Book News, Authors for Authors, and our new friends over at Wordfire Press. These are the folks sharing these videos all over the World Wide Web, and uh, we're very grateful for them uh, and for, for all of the viewers that we get. So we are here today hanging with Jason J. Nugent, an author, a blogger, and a contributor for our one of our favorite partners over at Something Unique Magazine. So welcome, Jason. Thanks for hanging with us, man. How are you doing today? Good, good. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate this. Not a problem, not a problem. We're always excited to talk to new creators and, and people who are out there doing the, the work all over the web. Let's, let's kind of talk a little bit. I know you've got a book out right now that's right now available on Amazon, Almost Average, which is a, an anthology series. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. It's a, a, a collection of 16 different flash fiction stories, uh, 14 of them that were originally on my blog that I kind of reworked, revised, and uh, made them a little cleaner um, with, with a couple extras that uh, are only released in this anthology. Wow, that's fantastic, man. Well, let's talk a little bit about two things. One, let's first out uh, introduce some of our viewers to the idea of flash fiction. Tell us a little bit about uh, flash fiction and, and what drew your interest there. Sure. Uh, flash fiction is uh, stories that are around a thousand words, can be a little bit more, can be a little less, but um, they're not very long, but you have to tell a great story and grab the reader's attention in a really short amount of time. Kind of story to write? Uh, what, do you have a genre that you prefer, or you, you just kind of bob in and out there? Uh, sure. I, I write in the horror, uh, kind of sci-fi, uh, uh, fantasy uh, fiction, uh, just kind of little elements of each one of those. Really great. And around a thousand words. Now, uh, I know a lot of flash fiction on, online, and, and some of our viewers and, and our other authors out there may know, uh, are they, they give themselves sort of a time limit, too. Uh, I know a lot of, uh, I've seen a lot of anthology contests and things where they said, look, you got 30 days, give me, give me, some, give me some fiction. Uh, so do you, do you try to write like that, or do you kind of spread it out a little bit? Well, it depends on, on when the time comes. Sometimes I can do four or five in a row. Uh, other times, it, uh, you know, I give myself a little bit longer to get some things done, uh, or I'll work on a bunch at one time. It, it really just depends. Great. Uh, so now tell us a little bit about uh, how did you first start writing and, and now publishing? Uh, what, what drew you to being a creator? Um, you know, it goes back to when I was in college. Uh, I, I wrote some stories in my first uh, English class, and uh, it was received, and I was like, maybe I have something here. Um, and, but it took a lot of years before I got back into writing, and a good friend of mine uh, from work, uh, her name was Sam Bell, uh, convinced me that uh, I can do uh, NaNoWriMo. Um, and so after uh, about two or three failures, uh, I finally succeeded, and I was like, man, I really like this. I think this is, I got something here, so I, I've kept going since then. Wow, that is fantastic. So, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I know um, uh, on your blog it says that uh, you put out about a new story about every month or so now. Um, so, uh, not just writing the flash fiction, uh, and giving yourself that kind of a time frame, things like that. What are some of the biggest or most daunting challenges you faced uh, as you've become a creator and started putting this work out there? Sure. Uh, one is, is coming up with ideas, coming up with the time to do it, and then uh, coming up with the time to make the ideas sound really good. Um, you know, I can, I can put words out there, but to make them sound good and uh, something that people want to enjoy and read, uh, it, it takes a little bit of time. And so I have to dedicate myself to that. And that was part of the reason why I started my blog to begin with. Uh, I wanted to kind of force myself into writing more uh, and give myself a uh, strict time limit so I know I have deadlines. Um, and I made that commitment. Uh, one of my first posts I talked about, I want to write three times a month because I knew I could do that and overload myself. Um, one story every month, or one uh, once a month is going to be a story, and then the other two times are going to be essays about uh, whatever I wanted to talk about. Wow, fantastic, man. So um, now, uh, your, your first book is out there and published. Uh, you're mm -hmm. out there in, on the great big World Wide Web in the marketplace now. What are uh, some of the most rewarding experiences you've had since you became a creator and an author? Um, reaching out to people that I 
personally know that um, have discovered my work and have really enjoyed it. Uh, I, uh, I review off of this book early on uh, that was just blew my mind. It was somebody I, I didn't know. Um, you know, it wasn't like a, a neighbor or a friend or a coworker or anything like that. Uh, somebody that found me online and uh, did a review and gave me a, a five-star review, which I was pretty excited about, you know. Um, and that gives me some kind of encouragement to keep going. Awesome, and it does. It is so great to hear from uh, readers and, and just people who discover you. Uh, right. Because it's, it's unsolicited, and you never know what they're going to say, and to have them love your work is just fantastic reward in and of itself. Um, now, you've uh, been doing this for a while since college, you said, but, but you know, kind of, you know, reaching out to the market only recently. Uh, is there anybody out there, any major writing influences or anybody who really inspires you when you're writing? Yeah, uh, you know, it, going back to even when I was a teenager, uh, the works of Stephen King have always been, been really influential to me. You know, it, you, it's something I can wrap my head around, I can grasp it, um, it's easy to read scares the crap out of you, um, it, it, you know, and I've always, always enjoyed that, um, you know, and in the last few years, I've gotten into uh, Brandon Sanderson, John Scalzi, um, and another indie author named Luke Smither, they're just great stuff. Well, big shoes all the way around, big shoes to fill, and I'm, I know you're doing a great job, and we've uh, had an opportunity to look over almost average a little bit. Uh, and it's, it's made our reading list now, so uh, we can't wait to get more of that. Uh, now, out there in the world, we talked a little bit about the influences that you had and, and Stephen King and Brandon Sanderson and these guys. Any, what's your favorite story? What's your favorite fiction work? You know, um, I really like a, a story that's got a great um, good versus evil uh, storyline. You know, uh, The Stand was one of my favorite uh, books. You know, I just love that. The whole, uh, the good versus evil, um, and usually good wins. Sometimes it doesn't. Uh, I, I love that that uh, dichotomy between the two of them. Oh, no, absolutely, man. Uh, now, we have a lot of aspiring young writers who are, are watching the show. Thank goodness. We're very grateful for that. Uh, a lot of artists out there and creators that are getting started uh, for the first time, or maybe they're, they're publishing for the first time. What kind of advice would you give any of these up and coming authors and artists and creators as they get started? What would you What would you want them to know? Sure thing. Um, keep going with it. You know, keep going with your passion. If you really love it, if it's something that you feel that um, is part of you, just keep writing. You know, it, not everyone's going to love your work, and that's okay. Um, somebody will, even if it's just you or your mom or somebody. You know, keep writing, keep at it, don't stop. And that's good advice for anybody doing anything. If you find what you love to do, then do it, right, man? So uh, let, me ask, let me ask you something. I know uh, we've uh, done some work on your bio here, and we were looking around, and um, we, I understand that you're writing for an upcoming video game. Yeah, uh, last, yeah last year I did some, uh, some work on some missions for a, a video game that's uh, independently produced. Uh, it's been in, in development for quite a while, and it's still um, a few years away, but I got connected through a friend of mine through, uh, that I play video games with, and uh, I, I did um, some mission work um, for several different uh, – there's, there's planets in the game, and so you have to go and do these uh, different missions, and uh, I, I did a bunch of work on that. Wow, that is fantastic, man. What's the, what, what do you think is the major difference between writing for the video game and, and, and some of your flash fiction and the writing that you've done so far? Well, um, I'm stepping into someone else's world when I do the video game. You know, they've got it in their mind already. They already have uh, what, what the major plan is. And so I have to try to incorporate the work I'm doing into that and make sure that it fits and it's part of the, um, the canon of it and it, that uh, it, it works for the players. Oh, that's fantastic. So now do you have any other ongoing projects uh, out there right now that you're working on? Well, um, I'm working with Summon Unique Magazine. I uh, started with those guys a uh, little over a month ago, and it's been great. Um, and then I'm also uh, working on uh, releasing another uh, a full-length uh, novel later this year, and then also uh, sending out another one for submission. So I'm going to try to stay busy with that, plus the blog as well. Busy man. Busy man. <laughs> well, we welcome you to the world of journalism. I think you'll find it's a lot like flash fiction. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs>
Well, we're glad that you're over at Summit Unique. I look forward to reading some of your stuff up, up the road here a little bit. Um, we've got to about wrap it up here, folks. But again, we want to thank uh, the folks over at Summit Unique Magazine, not just for being our partners and sponsors, but for lending us Jason tonight and letting us talk to him a little bit. Um, we want to thank the folks over at Books, Chocolate, and Wine, the Florida Book News, Authors for Authors, and our new friends over at Wordfire Press. They're sharing these videos. Man, this is fantastic. The World Wide Web is such a great venue for artists. And you guys over at Something Unique and, and all the other partners are helping us to reach out more and more uh, to the people who can get the most out of this work. So we're really grateful. Uh, if you get a chance, folks, go down in the description. We're going to put down there uh, Jason J. Nugent's blog address and his website. We're going to put his Facebook page. We're going to put his Twitter account. You will be able to cyberstalk Jason infinitum. Just go for it, man. Um, there you go. And while you're down there, go ahead and hit the link for our show store. There's a little link in there uh, in the description again, and you can get your hanging with sweat. You can get t-shirts. You can get ball caps. You can get coffee mugs. You can even get teddy bears. My wife likes teddy bears, so I have to sell teddy bears. I don't know why. It's not a thing for me. But it's teddy bears are there. Get them while they're hot. Uh, show your support for these incredible artists and authors and creators like Jason J. Nugent um, by supporting the show and helping us to let them reach out to their audience. Um, don't forget, everybody, Hanging With will be at Pensacon in Pensacola, Florida from February 19th through 21st. So if you're watching this show before then, by all means, look us up after that and see who we're hanging with there. I'm G.W. Pomacher. We've been hanging with Jason J. Nugent, an author, a blogger. Uh, his work, Almost Average, is available on Amazon right now. You can find him at the links in the description. He's also a contributor for, for our favorite partners over at Something Unique Magazine. So that about wraps us up for now. But remember, subscribe, log on, tune in, and see who we're hanging with next. I think there's something that we all have in common. Something primal. Everyone wants to be seduced. All we need is one night and an appetite. I'm just saying it's natural. Take away social etiquette, it's just we seduce to survive. And I bet if you could spy in any room here right now, you see a seduction of some sort going down in everyone. And I, adore I promise you. I'll be a, a perfect gentleman. Darling, I do. Are, are you trying to imply that I am questioning my sexuality? Aren't we all? Women want a whole lot more than just to be seduced and then screwed and discarded by some chauffeur douchebag with knock metal shoes. Don't you want to be with a guy who just wants to please you? Seduce you. You have a guy who loves you and takes care of you? Yeah, I have someone. I didn't pay you for a conversation. You know, we gotta be the most passionate couple ever. I know. And I adore you, darling, I do. But I implore you. Do you love me? Let's get a fancy room. Of course. Oh, Miles, you remember our prom, don't you? Yes. This is a very special night for you, isn't it? Tonight is the night that I'm going to lose it to you. I have something for you, you big dog. Wow. Ruff. Ruff. <laughs> Ruff. Yes, yes, all made of dogs. I'm GW Pometry. Thanks for logging on and tuning in. If you haven't already, go on down here and hit subscribe for us. Come back and see who we're hanging with. If this is your first time, thanks for hanging with us. We want to start out like we always do by thanking our partners over at Something Unique Magazine, Books, Chocolate, and Wine, Authors for Authors, the Florida Book News, and our new friends at Wordfire Press. Thanks for sharing these videos all over the World Wide Web. We are here today hanging with a very special guest. Uh, we are hanging with Tanya Bailey, the editor for Something Unique Magazine, one of our partners and a writer and an entrepreneur. Um, 
And so, welcome and thanks for hanging with us, Tanya. How are you tonight? Thank you. I'm great. I'm great. Yeah. So, well, tell us a little bit about yourself here to get started and, and what your background is and, and how you hooked up with the guys at Something Unique. Okay. I'm the editor, of course, of Something Unique magazine. I'm also an accountant and project manager. I have a family that consists of four kids and a husband. Um, and I got with Something Unique magazine pretty much um, through Facebook. Um, the general manager, she contacted me. And she knows about my love for books, reading, and um, editing background. So that's how I got started with Something Unique. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. So uh, you love to read and, uh, and, and things. So uh, who, who are your favorite authors out there? Favorite authors? Oh, I have many. Um, Eric Jerome Dickey. Um, Zane, of course. Um, Tony Morrison. Terry McMillan. Wow. So just a very eclectic collection. Yes. So, okay. And um, now you've been editing for a while, I understand. Um, so what, what interested you in, in the editing process? Um, reading books and finding mistakes. <laughs> Simple mistakes, um, you know, things that made me go back and reread and realize it's not me. Okay, all right. Well, you know, and we all make them. We all make them. I, I usually tell every writer we don't make our own good editors because we know what we want on the page. Right. And so we tend to skip what's actually on the page. Uh, so you know, without a good editor, uh, we kind of get lost. Uh, and I, I wrote for a newspaper for uh, a few years, and uh, and without an editor, I would have been really lost. So, uh, <laughs> so you're an integral part of that process. Um, how long have you been? Uh, uh, how long have you been editing? Um, I've been doing it for a few years for a few authors. So, um, and I don't mind doing. it. I love doing it. So this is kind of a natural fit for you. Uh, yeah. Getting the team at Sub Unique. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, now you've hooked up with those guys on Facebook. What what drew you to them? What 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 made you think they were a pretty cool outfit? Um, I've heard first. I heard about something unique magazine just going through Facebook. Um, mm -hmm. I read a few articles. They were intriguing. They had different perspectives, different point of views, you know. And all of the writers are great writers. Um, so it even had me, you know, checking out their works, aside great. from something unique magazine. Oh, that is great. Yeah. Um, first. Yeah. Now, you said you're a product manager? Yes, project manager. Product ma for whom? Right now, I'm not working on a contract. Um, okay. Usually, I do contract work when I do project management. So. Oh, wow. Great. Yeah. All right. So, and, um, and an accountant. Yes. So just mixing it up a little bit. A lot of things going on there. Yeah. yeah. Um, these days, and I'm an accountant um, with my own company, Rain Financial Services, um, and I mainly deal with small business, uh, oh, wow. small business owners. Well, if I ever make any money, I know who to call now. So yes. I, you know, there you go. <laughs> All right. Well, um, as an editor, kind of getting started and introduced to these authors and things like that. Um, what did you find most challenging about wanting to kind of get out there and be an editor for hire? Well, the most challenging part was um, putting myself into the work of each author. Each author is different. Well, writer is different. And um, just switching up different, um, well, trying to get a feel for their work. That's the biggest challenge. And what are you looking forward to the most, uh, editing uh, for a magazine level? For a magazine le level, um, making sure the authors that I edit for, um, that they, um, what I want to say, I want to make sure they excel in, okay. uh, yeah. in their works. So. Yes, absolutely. And, and a good editor does that. They bring out, they not only fix what's wrong, but they bring out the best in the writer. Right. They make, they make us want to fix what's wrong. Right. So. <laughs> yeah, I'm um, sure they are 
Yeah, so where, whereabouts are you in the world, uh, Tanya? Um, we were looking you up here on Facebook or whatever. It says you're from Texas. Is that where you're at? Or are That's you... where I'm at. I'm from Louisiana. You're from Louisiana. Yes, I'm in you're, Houston, you're in Texas. Texas. You're in Houston, Texas. Okay. And I know that Kenneth and the magazine is out of Missouri. Right. So uh, you've been doing a lot of work, obviously, online and in that way. Um, How has that been, working in this kind of digital age? Um, it's pretty good. Um, just staying on top of technology and I feel it's a great fit. So, yeah, it is. And it, it, it allows us to work across this kind of space, which is awesome. There are so many interviews we'd miss if we couldn't, uh, if we couldn't do this, you know, through right. Skype. So it's really amazing. And, and we're glad that we get to do it too. Um, do you have anything that you're particularly working on right now? Any projects you're working on? Anything you want to share with us? Other than um, doing um, accounting work, that's the busiest part of the year for me. Well, this part is the busiest part. Yeah, yeah. Those those uh, those tax returns have got to get filed. So, yeah, yeah that'll that will keep you busy. <laughs> that will yeah. keep you busy. Um, right now, um, some something unique magazine is my primary focus, along with Rain Financial Services. So. And, and those four kids, four. Yes, I mean, they're teenagers, so they're not as they're not babies, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. Four teenagers could be. I I've had four boys in the house at one time. Uh-huh. So, uh huh. It is. It that can be a challenge. It is. <laughs> <laughs> so wow, that's great though. And and uh, and your family's very supportive of you working with the with the magazine and and kind of launching this up the way it is. Yes, they are, and the kids drive, so that's good too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that that's a, that's something that's off mom's plate. Right, you know? right. So they're all teenagers. How oh. how old is the oldest? The oldest is nineteen. So nineteen, and the youngest fourteen. Fourteen. Yes. Wow, that's a good range, though. That's a good yeah. range. I I actually had bookended sets. I had uh, two that were the same age, and two more that were the same age at the lower end, five years apart. So okay, that, uh, it it does get to be a challenge. Do you write any on your own? I haven't written in a very long time, but I have written. Oh, okay. I was just curious. It, it, oh, yeah. it's, 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 it's always neat to see, uh, I think so many, especially our young artists that are out there that watch the show, um, you know, editors and authors are, are, are two sides to the same coin, but, but they're not necessarily the same people. Um, you know, so I think that's an interesting thing. Uh, for a young artist to know. Get yourself a good editor. Get yourself someone who can check, you know, make sure that what you see is actually what's on the page right. before you get somebody else to see it. Um, so we have a lot of those uh, young artists and creators out there uh, that watch the show from time to time anyway, we hope. And um, so we were kind of curious, from the editor's point of view, what, would, what advice would you give a young artist that was going to get ready to get started here for the first time? Uh, what, what would you tell them? Start writing. Get out there. Write. Write whatever's on your mind. If you have to pull over, write. Get whatever's on your mind in your imagination out on paper. Good stuff. And, and well, you read a lot, too, and you read from a very eclectic, uh, you know, source, sources. So, um, you yeah, know, that's just good advice. Get started. Don't, don't yes. wait, guys. Just right. go ahead, put pen to paper, and get started, and then find Tanya. And she will make sure that all of your T's are crossed and your I's are dotted and the periods are in the right places. Right. And uh, that you don't overuse the comma. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a comma addict. Uh, and so, you know, she'll make sure you don't do those things. And um, so the, you get, you're starting with something unique. You're working. You're kind of telecommuting uh, to do that job. Um, how do you like working with those guys so far? I love it. They're different they have their own unique styles of writing um their articles are very mind-boggling in a good sense and just very interesting things yeah, would have never it thought is, of it's very insightful stuff over there we were so excited uh i i actually got to uh work a little bit with uh kenneth when he was running the the writer's lounge mm -hmm. um, and he interviewed me for uh a book that i had out and um when we started doing the show, I reached out to him and said, hey, we're looking for partners and, you know, people to help us distribute the show. 
and he kind of hopped on right away. There's just a lot of energy there. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is. It's, it's a great bunch of folks who have a lot of energy and a passion for sharing uh, stories with people. And in particular, we were drawn to the fact that they share a lot of arts stories, a lot of authors, a lot of music. Just they want to share the arts community. And, uh, and so, you know, viewers out there, make sure you go down to the description below to grab the links going over to Something Unique magazine and check out more articles and more information about some of these great creators and artists that are there. Uh, if you are a creator or an artist, a uh, writer, uh, you want to do some articles or anything like that, reach out to F. Kenneth Taylor and the folks at Something yes, Unique please. magazine. Get your stuff to Tanya. She'll make sure it's all fixed up for you and, and get your stories out there online. Um, that it's pretty simple. That about wraps us up here. Uh, it, you know, we've had a good time hanging with Tanya. And uh, before we go again, we're going to say thanks again to Something Unique Magazine for lending us Tanya and uh, for sharing our videos all over the World Wide Web. Also, Books, Chocolate, and Wine, the Florida Book News, Authors for Authors. And we just made some great new friends at Wordfire Press. And they've been helping us share these videos on the web. But they've also been helping us set up some interviews with some really terrific creators. Uh, we are headed next weekend. Uh, make sure you're online, logged in, and tuned in because we are going to be at Pensacon in Pensacola, Florida. We're going to talk to all kinds of creators. We've got writers, we've got filmmakers, comic book designers, artists, we've got cosplayers. It's going to be a fantastic weekend, uh, and we're excited to be there. If you get a chance, everybody, while you're, while you're on the Hanging With page here, go on down to our description and check out the links uh, for Tanya and Something Unique magazine, but uh, also down there you can find the link for our show store where you can pick up a coffee mug or a t-shirt or a ball cap, uh, even a teddy bear if you want one, and you can help us support these artists and support these creators and entrepreneurs and sharing their messages all over the world wide web. I'm G.W. Pomager and we have been hanging with Tanya Bailey all the way from Houston, Texas. Yes. Uh, Tanya is the editor for Something Unique magazine. She's an entrepreneur. She's an accountant. It's tech season, guys. Get a hold of her. She, you know, you, you need to get that squared away. Uh, and a product manager. So if you're looking for someone to help you with that, Tanya is your girl, too. So keep coming back for more. Remember, subscribe, log on, tune in, and see who we're hanging with next.